my name is devendra das sarma i am an intel fellow and i'm also a board member of pci sig i've been involved with uh, pci express technology in pci sig since uh, 2004 pci express is a what we call a full duplex point to point interconnect technology by that what we mean is you have uh, the same number of lanes going between two link partners uh, we support widths from that are single lane by 1 by 2 by 4 by 8 by 16 we also go all the way to by 32 although realistically products are between by 1 through by 16 we also support a wide range of speeds uh, we have we are in the fifth generation of the technology now every generation we double the data rate so we started off with 2.5 gig went to 5 gig then we went to 8 gig in the third generation as you can see in the slide um and at 8 gig we changed the encoding scheme so even though 5 and 8 are not double with the change in encoding scheme the effective data rate is twice as much than 16 gig with gen 4 and then we did 32 gig with gen 5 which is what we are working on now pci express is a is a what we call a layered protocol uh, what by that what we mean is there are distinct layers that do different things you have the electrical layer as you see in this picture which deals with signal integrity and uh, signaling mechanism between two different devices you got the logical file layer that deals with uh, link training and uh, with the encapsulation of the packets you got the data link layer which deals with link integrity you got the transaction layer that provides you with a consistent uh, um, consistent protocol and consistent uh, programming model that the software works with the software stack is on the top which is guaranteed to interoperate between different generations of pci express we even have backwards compatibility to pci which was a bus based in, uh, interface so we we take the software interface to very serious we make sure that as we develop the technology forward it remains backwards compatible and at the bottom of it what you will see is the mechanical layer which satisfies the wide range of ecosystem the entire compute continuum on which pci express exists today everything from your handheld to pcs to workstations to laptops desktops your uh, servers that are there in the data center in the cloud high performance computing super computers iot everything as we have gone through this evolution that like you can see in addition to making speed enhancements we have also made protocol enhancements over the last two decades we have seen significant changes in the compute landscape all of these protocol enhancements like you see in the uh, in the picture here io virtualization this is this is there to virtualize the io devices everything is virtualized these days in the data center as well as even in your handheld devices things are virtualized you also had uh, things like low power enhancements that we made for the handheld segment because we wanted to make sure that we remain viable in the handheld segment we made a lot of protocol enhancements like atomics like uh, uh, casable hints things of that nature those were there to satisfy the needs of the accelerators all of these enhancements have ensured that pci express remains viable as we move forward we have moved from being connected through a, a different chipset onto the front side bus to being integrated into the cpu and as you will see that not only that coming directly from the cpu the number of lanes has increased and that is because there are lots of devices out there that are doing really interesting things and they are finding usages that are being useful in the wide range of computing that we see today so more number of lanes more features in our protocols more power efficient uh, mechanisms that we are building in and at the same time higher performance at lower cost that's the value that we offer that is what is making our technology ubiquitous across the entire compute continuum today pc express develops its specification uh, using its different work groups in which members can join and provide feedback so as the specification is being uh, developed people can download the specifications from www.pcisig.com so not only do you get the specification but also you get to participate as the specification goes through typically it goes through ref.3 then ref.5 then ref.7 the ref.9 and finally 1.0 so you get to participate in the entire thing in addition to getting preview of what's coming in the developers conference such as what we are doing today